Alrighty. Brett and Tara, welcome to 1186 Lakeshore Road in Waynefleet, Ontario. Let me shut the door here. So ultimately we have 1150 square foot bungalow with two bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms. Uh, so ultimately when you walk in, you have a dining area to your left. Um, window here. Windows are white vinyl windows. Um, they look a little bit older. They're probably roughly 35 to 40 years old. But all of them do look like they're in good shape. Uh, so to the right here we have a large living area. Nice wooded ceilings. And then all their vents as you can see are up top. So it does has a gas based furnace which was replaced in 2013 so it's nine years old. Uh, the roof is 2014, so it's eight years old. It's a nice front window. And this is a large lot here. So their septic bed, as you can see that hill, is situated in the front, front yard. Uh, as far as the flooring, it's, it's vinyl flooring. A um, couple of couple planks here have kind of looks like there's some water damage um, just from the peeling of them uh, so off the living room there is uh, an office type area uh, ceiling fan there's two windows out the back and there is also an exterior shed uh, in the right corner there um, so I actually just ran into one of the neighbors and he mentioned to me that this area used to be a garage. Um, as you can see, the flooring here is just, uh, just wooden flooring. Uh, he mentioned to me the garage door is where the bed is situated. Uh, but for the present use, it's used as a master bedroom. Uh, so there's also laundry here. Don't see the dryer being vented out. Wonder what's in behind. Oh, you know what? It is vented. It is vented out just by the bottom. It's rather tight here. Uh, so then there is a two-piece bath off the master. So two-piece ensuite bathroom. This has a sink and a toilet. And then there is an exterior door to exit, although it's boarded up and there's insulation uh, between the board and the door. So double closet and then in behind here is just a service, uh, the plumbing and the bathroom, more or less. And there's a step up here, a little bit of uh, storage space. So now we're back into that office area, front window. We're not having a basement. The floors are quite sturdy. There's a, a slight slope towards this end of uh, the home, but uh, nothing too, too major in my opinion. Um, slight slope. Alrighty, so check out the kitchen area here. We got an electric stove. I uh, got some white cabinets. Um, just look like they're wooden cabinets which have been painted white. A little bit of a, of a breakfast bar here. And we have our second bedroom. Okay, so off the kitchen, the second bedroom. There's also a utility area with their furnace, hot water tank. Um, and then this is a water pur purifier system for their well. They have two uh, electrical panels. One's a sub panel, which is 30 amps, and the major, and the main panel is a 125 amp breaker. So that's been updated. Uh, we have a cracked window here. Okay. And again, another walkout. So off this walkout, it's a wooden deck. Gives you an idea. Of we have here for a backyard. 
And a side yard. Here's their air conditioner. Nice lot. Does need some cleaning up, but there is potential. Nice and private. All right, so back into the home. Again, we have our bedroom. Utility area here. The furnace. Water purifying system and hot water heater. Um, and there's again a slight slope, a slight slope towards uh, the side of the home. Not sure if you can see it on the camera, but this this countertop here is higher up than what I see here. So that is slightly sloping. I don't know if this is going to help, but give you an idea. Uh, so up on the other side of the kitchen, there's uh, sort of a makeshift pantry. So she's got some shelving in here. And there is also a three-piece bath, a high-seated toilet, and a walk-in shower. Walk-in shower has a little seat, handlebar, shower head. Okay, so all the vents are up top. And this would bring you back into uh, the dining area and the living area here. All right, so I'll take a separate video now for the exterior. But overall, uh, pretty cl pretty clean home. Does need some interior finishes for sure. It's just some updating. One spot I was a little bit concerned about is this corner. Got some duct tape over the ceiling tile here, and I don't know if you can see the sloping. But right there, there is some sagging, um, probably coming from the roof line or something up in the attic, attic space. Um, so those are the two concerns that I see in there. And then you have some cracking in the drywall, just in the front area. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the grating. Uh, just because the septic is there and it's sloping towards the house. So on those days where we do get heavy rain, just hoping that a lot of the water doesn't come towards the house. Although there is no basement, it still can come in through the main floor if it's not uh, looked after. All right, so we'll head on outside. I'll take a separate video for uh, the exterior.